Come on, come on, don't get stuck on nothing. For certain, no longer impressed with this shotgun. It's actually not gonna- what the hell is this? I've never seen this before. Just a ball of iron or something. And just look at all the adoring fans. Much earlier. Pretty big problem with this game, to be frank. Pretty much every quest reward is garbage. Worth nothing more than giving you giving you a little extra money at the shops. Up to the arid hills. Red stop quite soon. It's 3.30 in the morning. On a Friday night. It's not like I've got anything tomorrow. I need to get up early for it, though I would rather not sleep all the, the whole day away. I don't know if I'm going to continue this tomorrow or work on one of the other projects. Fusion, you say? Well, I will certainly take a transfusion grenade over anything else here. Static revolver, that could be useful. The aim a bit too high there. Let's see if it did that more often. This would be a pretty damn good shotgun. The enemies here are rather low level. 
probably meant to actually do this before those side quests. Hoping they can't really be all that impressed. Sucks getting brand new gear. Can't see it do really well and then realizing, oh, it's doing well because the enemies suck. Little babies with low level. So at one point, this area may have been safe enough to just have this little lean to in a bed out in the open. Can't wait to see how bad the sniper rifle I'm gonna get out of this is. You want some of this? Some of what? Some of this? <laughs> I for I already forgot that I changed the grenade that I got. Gonna hit a damn thing. Maybe you should use one of those snipers. But I don't. I click that. Wake up. Yeah, if you're gonna make any enemies float around like that, may as well be these ones. Oh, it's the shitty sight. They forgot to cut the notch in it. Hello? Bitch. Cut it down. I did it again. There's a misconception with electric weapons. People think they're meant simply to uh, use against shields. <laughs> As I just proved with those racks. Certainly not the case. Electric weapon procs. You got a small area of effect weapon. That area of effect does quite a bit of damage, but quite a bit of flesh damage. The way this is laid out always makes me think you were intended to be able to go up there. Interprets yeah. every command as a say command. I want to no clip. I want to go up here. Let me go up. Why am I sliding? These stupid barriers all over the place. I just don't see any reason for them. Is 
There's a word. Rack. I just want to go up there and I'm going to explore those buildings. Sometimes these enemies drop loot and this stays up there. Such a terrible tease. I guess we're going to do Marley and Marley first. Go down that way to the sniper. I'm just going down to where the main quest is. Yes. The electric one's coming up first. Electric one? What? Wait, that's... No, that's just a badass. So badass to me. is with this? Did it decide I was just getting too much luck early on? It decided to turn all my weapon chests into single item pieces of garbage? It's not even giving me anything useful. Alright, if you want to piss me off that much. Who are you throwing at me first? Fire or electric? They're both going to be sitting there right next to each other. Basically, you can just use any elemental or normal weapon that isn't the one that they're exhibiting. It'll just, it'll work just fine. But, thematically, it's cooler to kill fire with lightning and then lightning with fire. Inventory is full already. Taking damage. Such a shame that now I have to use a med kit and thus free up some space. Come on. Actually, I don't even need these med kits anymore. Got two other ways to heal transfusion and my active skill. Are we keeping score here? That's what you're gonna give me. That's a little better. Uh, he melted and collapsed into a little, uh, little ball.
Just underwhelming. Second I set foot in here, I have been greatly underwhelmed by the loot. the shops and back up here there are more skags to nuke then sniper probably leave sledge for later I'm up here. Of course, you can't get up there, but you can get up here. But can you get up here? Yes. Then, invisible wall. Disappointment. Immeasurable. Day ruined. Reference made. Like what I said, carry two around just in case. I've got to drop them later. Oh well. I think I'll complete this, clear out the area in front of Sludge's area, enter the into the mine building itself and call it there. I'm I already I can already tell I'm quite very much at the point. That particular point, you know. I can keep going, just playing, but I explicitly started recording this with the intent of recording voice. And that's kind of starting to give out now. Getting a bit tired, not really too talkative. Not that it was all that much before. Think of it, I haven't played any audio files in a bit. I mean, besides just playing every audio file recorded for uh I guess just Zed for the moment. There's really much out to add at them at this time. Shep Sanders doesn't have any voice lines. There's some generic voice lines for NPCs, but they don't really come into fruition until uh, until you're at New Haven. Additional scooter lines by Marcus lines. I think those all play again. New Haven. I could in a little bit play the play the old lines from the E3 trailer 
when Sledge was an actual character and not just a cartoony sounding moron. And original Roland's lines. Now, should mention Brick. Yeah. Brick doesn't have any alternate forms. It was made late enough in the game. But Lilith and Mordecai, both of them have their original appearances in the game as different characters. I'll point those out. If the series continues that far, point those out when the time comes. Just a crash and destroyed ship on fire. Promise of wasteland to explore, but no way to get there. Those lines. So they would be the, in the E three temp assets folder. Skags used to sound cooler. That's, that's, uh, old Roland. I don't know if his voice actor kept a role for the final product. You might say that. <laughs> yeah! Looking for something? Did you think you could come in here and just take it? Any last words? <laughs> You got some brass ones. I'll give you that. Kill him! Ah! And that's Sledge when he was an actual character. If you played the game, you know what they turned him into. In fact, let me pull up. If I can find it real quick, I'm rousing out right fast. I can't even put a sentence together anymore. Sledge pound you into dust! Yep, that's that's what they turn Sledge into. What a joke. Did the game crash?
fucking settings, god damn it! Back in the lands of the borders. Shrinking down for a sprint. Done anything more than demultiplexing the last recording to MP4 for editing. I don't know, I guess for the time being. I'll continue at least the recording part. <laughs> yeah, you gotta move, buddy. What? This open later. Some of these things I don't remember, like... Okay, yeah, there's a, just a giant hitbox around this generic corpse model that you see about a trillion times. Look at the thing with a scope. I guess it, this is treated like a scope. I guess the eyes are kind of there. some details and I don't think I'll be tapping out to play audio this time around but I will notice loud sounds coming through the wall With levels like this, you always gotta wonder, was there meant to be more at some point? Like, especially when it comes to doors, maybe not this one, but ones that still have the interaction prompts on them but don't open. Unaffected by his own grenades. Wish I had that immunity myself. You know, I even like the psychos in this game better than the, in the later ones. The crazy shit they say here makes sense in context with the world. It isn't just random already dated memes for children to giggle at. I'm gonna seek- oh no, I, that's right, you can't sequence break. See, this area itself, I kind of like it. Of course, it's in that- it's still within the arid badlands saga. That's where that blue went. Yeah, still at the part of the game where the levels themselves have this feeling that's just so different from the later on later on parts of the game. They got me. Yeah, this looks like a place that had a purpose. It existed for a reason. Whatever that may be, probably something. Oh, gun me down? So are you gonna? 
Come on. You want some of this? This is the stupid shit that keeps you entertained you when you're playing a game you've played too many times already. Just seeing how close you can get before they start aggroing. You don't and, want none of this, Mark. and how many lines they'll say. Look at that. Hey, maybe if I look the opposite way, you won't shoot me. Yeah, I'd say so. Is this the door that Crap Trap opens? I'm thinking of another one. See, again, it's. What's that alarm got to do? Well, I'll see on the escape out, but... Still, it's just a thought. How many of these may have intended... May have been intended... Be actually accessible locations. And then just something at some point... Had them cut out. But they left the interaction prompts in. Imagine how much more efficient is the term. How much more efficient this would be if I was just allowed to grab that thing when it's right there staring at it. another thing done better here than in the sequels. Even though it sounds kind of silly, there's a seriousness to what the clap traps say when they're laying here dying. Then just throw a toolbox at them and you're okay. Yeah, just like last time, got some brewskis out. Hey there, stranger. Please follow me. This time, instead of the big national brand, it's the local brew. You angling lager. I don't really have a preference per chant per se. With regards to lager stout, this is a piece of shit. Out. I'll tell you what I have a preference for, not this. Okay, so that door is the claptrap door. But there was at least one other door down here that had the interaction prompt. Yeah, no real preferences between lager, stout, pale ale, whatever. Trillions of different minor variations of beer there are. Even when it wasn't just the thing that I occasionally bought, never really cared. If that was intentional, leaving the mask there. Just show that this side or the other side of the mask is not modeled or textured. Just called out. Yeah, this is one of those games where they don't really have modding tools. I would be curious just to see what all the bandits were modeled to look like under the mask. Same with the Roland characters. Or, not Roland. Beta Roland. Pre release Roland that became Zed. I'd like to see what he looks like beneath the Doctor Mask. A lot of curiosities. 
just comes out, especially for games like this with a storied history of intentions that were unrealized. Speaking of unrealized, am I going to be unrealized in my intentions to carry more loot? This is a duel. A solid sniper. It's a piece of shit. Garbage. This one... I'm not really planning to do snipers this run, but... Terrible fire rate aside. This is actually pretty damn good. For a 15. Given the area, this was... This had to have been part of a mining system. What would this be? Bunks? Military? The hell's that? Some sort of ore, I suppose. Whoa. Oh, yeah, it's one of those just flat textures that hides areas that you're not supposed to tell are empty boxes. Borderlands loves to do that. One in here? No, there's just... Wait, so this isn't blood from an enemy I've killed. This is blood that's just right here on the wall. They went through the effort of putting this little detail decal in here, and then they hit it? With this flat co Honestly, I would not be surprised if the original attention was behind this and the black shit that you see blocking off other doors in later areas. If they were meant to be semi-transparent. Shut the fuck up! Yeah, I wonder if... Just like the, uh... The badass psycho I saw earlier. If these midgets are actually just normal character models that are deformed in post. That's run right past the easy axis. There is for sure a of course I fucked that up. I guess judging by this, this must have been some sort of mining facility. And these are like ore processing areas. I did it again. I walked right past the axis. That is, in fact, one of the reasons I largely stopped doing LPs, because it's a lot easier to pay attention to things properly when you're just playing and not talking. I'd come back for that if I've got space later. I would drop the medkits, but I have a need for them coming up pretty soon, probably. Yeah, this has got to be some sort of mine, mine processing and storage facility. Hello. That's a nice uh, static rifle you got there. It's garbage, but worth more than that other thing. Yeah, this will give you a better look of generic corpse model. It was really necessary to, like, crank the pseudo-fake comic book style up to 12 on these models. Then lower the textures so much that just looks terrible.
course, it's bandits. They're supposed to be all prisoners that work the mines. Some of them got infected with iridium. That's what made them crazy psychos and fucking deformed. Background lore that I don't think it actually gets explained anywhere in the game. It just doesn't get its uh, spot in the limelight. Kind of reminds me of Dead Island, actually. The original. There was intended to be a lot more story there. Even email entries that you could pick up that explained exactly what the what the disease was. Kuru. And then they just cut it out. Focus on co-op. Ah, the rare instance of semi-interesting lighting. In this old Unreal Engine 3. And it ain't much, it's just a... Is there even a physical light that's... I guess I'll look later. Nice throw, douchebag. Okay. I don't think I've had that happen before. <laughs> it's stuck. Okay, yeah, there does not actually seem to be a physical source of that light, so that's disappointing. Not surprising. And where does this door go? Where would that go? Never get to see. Why are there giant... Pieces of some alien monster you'd never get to see. Who knows? What's up with this guy? Oh, no. Been harmed. Now I have to use my med kits. It's cool ass shield tech. Never see that again. Really? What should I level up? Ah, oh, fuck it. Get better with shotguns. It's a lot of shotguns are gonna end up being like this. Slow and shitty. Did I just lose that? Oh, no. I've never had that guy fall down here before. He got gibbed. But he did. Hey, look! Did I get a glimpse of his mouth, too, or...? Looks like that might just not actually be modeled. But, hey, it's a bandit, where you can see his eyes. And there actually is a bit of head model modeled behind the masks. That's a rarity. Are these his limbs? Do they shrink back to regular size? Oh, that's not cool. The keys disappeared. Oh well. You should be able to get into the mine now. There's nothing between you and Sledge. And we're one step closer to the vault. I believe in you. Place is called Headstone Mine. I didn't pay attention to that in the week's break between the last recording session and now. No shit, it's a mine. Fuck. 
still, being a connoisseur of open world games, I do desire to know what would be behind that door. Were there to be anything there? There is nothing there. Okay, well that will be the next one to go, but everything I've got is worth more than what I dropped, so I can't be picking it back up. If I really wanted to, I would have already ran back to the store, sold everything, and came back. Was this barricaded before? That's cool. Just, uh, just spawned the dude right in my line of sight. I suppose that the intended resolution, which was maybe 1280 by 720 at max, remember this is a uh, Xbox 360 game with a pretty bad PC port, you wouldn't be able to notice that. But for sure, at 1440p? Does open. Oh, nice. Of course. Half a centimeter of steel is all it takes. To stop me in my tracks. That most likely means that this door over here. Is the one I saw the interaction prompt on earlier. Yep, it is. It's a cool little shortcut, but if you're gonna spawn enemies over there, I'm still gonna run back, take the long way through, and kill them. Gangly motherfucker. But really, it actually sounded like. One of the midgets was right here next to the claptrap. Oh, look at that! Yeah, should have figured. Cannot throw. There's clearly a big gap right here, but you can't throw it. Eighty-one. Now I'm bothered, but also unbothered. So that means previous times I've gone through here, I have actually missed out on experience in combat. Not that you're ever sorely lacking for experience in playthrough one. I've legitimately theorized that you barely need to do any side quests and play through one because you get over leveled so easily that there's just no challenge. That's actually a dangerous thing because it carries on to play through two for the most part. So you end up with play through one and play through two. Feeling like everything's so easy, then you get to play through 2.5. And everything just kicks your ass, because you now everything scales directly to you. Yeah, that means... I missed out on all those extra enemies over there. Because I've always only taken this route. And who do I see over here? Is that even accessible? 
Is that an accessible area? Or am I thinking of something... Yeah, it's that area. I can get up there. Yeah, of course. It's right next to the stairs that I just walked up. That there was this kind of cheap, but for the time still effective, fake dust effect on that light. That's a completely sourceless set of red light. Just gonna sit here nitpicking lights all day. That is one of the reasons that I like ray tracing and I uh, quite enjoy that that's the big thing that's coming into fruition with games. This makes lighting, which I enjoy, that much better. Definite benefit of the uh, Game of the Year edition or Enhanced Edition. You can lock the weapons that you're not currently having equipped, but does still want to keep. It just makes it easier to remember it at, at a quick glance, especially if you're usually just like. That, yeah, that, that's shit that I want to keep. To realize there is actually something res resembling a use for these shitty shotguns that only do seven pellets. Like doing the same amount as a masher. Generally, they're the more accurate of the shotguns, but it doesn't count for much when they're that bad. Shoot. 35 grand. Yeah, I think I should. The difference is I'm only going to be buying SDUs for a ship that I actually use, at least uh, for the time being. Any of that loot still here? Or is it all washed up? His loot traps will actually just disappear if you're away from them for too long. Don't necessarily have a need to be super... whatever about it. Super concerned about picking up all the loot that I dropped from lack of space. But if I can do it nice and quick... I can just finance the med kits that I just bought. And who knows, maybe enemies will start spawning again. Alright, no need to go any further. I already see that has despawned. As is everything here. I guess when your primary platform has 256 megabytes of RAM, it's got to share with everything else. You got to make sacrifices. Kid. 
See, the purpose behind all this is quite clear. Sure, 280 is greater than 210 by 70. However, 100 is greater than 40. And when you're not rolling rich, 99999 all across the board on your money, may as well not be wasteful. This is one of the few level transitions that has this well, interior to exterior and vice versa. That has an actual, real doorway. But you still just use this. See, on the opposite side, invisible wall lens won't let you go through. I'd like to be able to go through and see, but I get the feeling that there's this goes on just a little bit further. Session, this gets respawned. Stomper. Mm. Eh. I probably won't get anything worthwhile for a while. I was wondering when these guys would wake up. And as close as I thought it was. Oh, these are all one experience. I don't even want to play with these guys anymore. Tina, are you joking? You dare mess with me? <laughs> Saying the bad spot to put a shitter, all things considered. Nice view of them. Bland mountain. It's private enough. Don't think I'm even gonna care about these guys unless they're directly in my way. Like the combat in Borderlands just is not fun enough for one XP opponents to be worth fighting. Wait, is there a box over here? I do suppose the loot, technically speaking, is worth something. Kill him! Kill him now! Those explosions and uh, working towards tedious challenges like kills with melee strikes. Makes it worth it. Things like racks are just a little bit different because they're annoying. Damn annoying. Is that a... 
We sent a sniper in a dumpster. 